Right, well, 40 odd years in the motor trade and uh, <laughs> I've never seen one of these before. It's a Ford Edge Vignal, or Vignali, however you pronounce it. Um, it's a two litre TDCI. Now I know that's a fantastic engine. It's all wheel drive, power shift automatic. Um, the uh, guys from Ford have just been kind enough to lend me this. Look, looks lovely, uh, it really does to start off with. Hang on a second, let's, uh, oh, let's get these out of the way. Well, I'm sure it'll drive great, but uh, let's just go for a drive. So again, first impressions, really nice, really nice cockpit. I'm sure that's height and reach adjustable steering wheel, which it is, just get that more comfortable. Great looking steering wheel. Telephone controls on the right there, cruise control on the left. We've got um, now we've got nice audio display there. It's loading the map for the navigation. Uh, piano black. We've got piano black here around the electric window switches and the door mirror switches. Memory seats. Paddle shift. So we're in drive, do parking brake off, off we go. A few years ago, all cars felt different. Um, unless it's me getting older, which it could very well be before I get any comments on the uh, on YouTube. However, and I know they have like European designs and they share chassis and stuff, but um, you, you jump into these cars and they're all seeming very much the same. Certainly the four wheel drives, the F-Pace, the Stelvio and this, even though I've only gone a, a few hundred yards, very much driving position and uh, the view even again in the old days sometimes you got in a car and you felt like you were sitting sideways off center or the pedals were off center i suppose everything's designed by a computer these days so we're, we're moving towards kind of a standard car um ford do make uh, again a, a real a real nice car They've always got great specifications, everything on there you could possibly need. This has got a huge glass panoramic roof. What have we got down here? We switch the, well, I can do this, I'm on the race course at the moment, not on a road, so again, no comments about dangerous driving. Um, parking, stop start on off. Um, looks like that's, ah! <laughs> Yeah, th this has got the old parallel parking on oh, perpendicular. <laughs> Easy for me to say. Perpendicular parking. Should really try that. Um, I'd probably be better. I'll do a quick test drive and then we'll try and find that. But um, we'll try and find somewhere to park. Slow down to search. Right, we'll knock that off. Otherwise, it's going to have a heart attack thinking I'm going to try and handbrake turn into a parking space. lovely car again first impressions I'd probably rather have this than uh, an X5 to drive I'm sure that looks like uh, it could be space for a heads-up display there but unless there's anything here It's, the only problem with this day is it, it's a bit of a rush so you can't get to uh, look at the cars because you've got to get them out and get them back for the next person so you don't get to see all the specification and show it off but that has to be something to do with a heads-up display lovely carbon fiber finish there and it does look like carbon fiber it doesn't look like plastic although it probably is 
it'll have Bluetooth, it'll also have audio streaming. There we've got, we've got the uh, let's see, uh, we've got the lane change warning. If you go over the white lines without indicating, the steering wheel will uh, wobble or vibrate. Um, I don't think there's many places to actually do that to try it, but uh, just see. So real good days to come on these because. Uh, the manufacturers put a car out and you can guarantee it'll have ex every extra on the on the specification uh, so we're it's showing there we've got a green broken line to the outside so it's picking up the central line and uh, if I was to go over the line without indicating first the steering wheel will work well let me just uh, it's not, uh, not picking it up here because it's too many too many cars so the display showing intelligent all-wheel drive keep the lovely alloy wheels away from the curb Obviously, they've got that pedestrian don't kill mode as well. Very nippy. Stop start button there. All the, uh, it's, it's quite a, a conservative dash, really. There's no, uh, no shiny things. get back anyway and I'll try the uh, perpendicular parking and see if it works. Now we have a Cougar in stock and that's only got parallel parking but uh, the perpendicular thing is something else and we'll get, gosh what is it, I think it will perpendicular park in a space 50% wider and parallel park in a space 20% longer. I think that's right. But don't go seeing me if you try and get in a narrow one. Heated seats there as well. Switch on the switch here, and also you can kind of override it on the um, iPad style display.
just go in the car park and see if there's anywhere to perpendicular park it. The heated seats warming up nicely there. So we'll switch the parking on, park, parallel park, perpendicular park. Ah oh, no, it needs to be on the left hand side, so that's not going to work. Searching for parking space on the left hand side, drive forward. So we, ah, there's, there's one possibly, so we'll just hang a Yui. It may be too much to ask of it really in this space. Ah, space found, stop vehicle. Release steering wheel, shift to reverse, reverse. There you go. Now, <laughs> we're going back. Oh gosh, I don't like the look of that at all. Just gonna check. That is too close for me. But stop and shift it forward. That that's it done. And uh, cancelled by driver. That's that's good enough for me. That's uh, absolutely spot on. Missed that car. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> well, it was, as I say, it was too close for me, but did it perfectly. Well done, Ford. <laughs> let's uh, let's take it back to them now. Undamaged. Nice car there. for cook. I'm sure that's uh, a play on words but let's see can we get out there? No I don't think we can get out there. We'll probably be cocked up here because we can only What a lovely car to drive. I should really try that parallel parking again. No, I'm not going to. I'm, I'm not going to push my luck. Oh, put it in reverse. Eh? Brilliant. 